Hello everyone. Today, I'm going to show you my collection of traditional kanzashi hairpins, as requested in the comment before. This kimono look was for another shoot, so you'll see in the future program. I did the summary hairdo match the look today. I used the stick shaped hairpin called Kogai and I made my bangs like the actress Kaoru Yachigusa in the 50s or 60s. These are shaped like a comb in various different materials like a tolo shell or wood. This one with the metal carving detail around the edge. This is ivory. This one's Japanese lacquer with metal pearl detail. This one's a proper motif, great for summer. This style is probably the most common as a traditional kanzashi hairpins. This is a sparrow motif. You wear it like this, and you see the sparrow showing from behind. This is a many seasonal motif, and sparrow is one of my favorites. These are all sparrows. And with this one, you see front and the back. Mostly winter and very often used in a set with bamboo ribs. This style was very popular back in Taisho or beginning of Showa era, made in plastic. This one's total shell with coral details. This one's antique. Kogai hairpin that I'm wearing now is made of glass and a stick shaped like this. You see various different Kogai hairpins. This one's Japanese lacquer with mother of pearl details. And these are tall shell, and the cloth details are so beautiful. Coral, inlays, metal carving, agate, and this one's island, quite rare and interesting. This one comes with pearl, it's detachable here. So you wear it like this, or like this. You would enjoy it in various different ways. So, so, so. Absolutely. These pearl ones uh, especially go really well. People in the Edo era did not wear jewelries. It's only in Meiji era that they started to wear jewelries. Instead, obi brooch were visualed and the uh, hairpins as well. So they accessorized their look with them. This one's my favorite. With the metal carving details, pearls, and aloe motif. It's a changeable like this, really handy to use on any different hairdo. This one's plum flower, will be beautiful on the western hairstyle too. This one is cloisonne. You probably won't guess what this is, but it's the hairpin, antique one. You will do the volume up do and put it like this, or like this. This is another hairpin, but I actually bought this thinking that I could probably use this as an obi brooch. This one's interesting too. This is age butterfly. Most of these particularly interesting ones are equally beautiful on the back. You will see that these are made with the finest cloth expertise and the exceptional attention of the details. And look at this, very glamorous one with the metal fringe details. These are rather for the festive occasions, like the wedding or children's festival. Maiko or apprentice geisha wears this too. This style is generally for the younger people. This one comes with plum and mum flowers from the beginning of Showa era. I bought this one first, and they told me that it's from the end of Edo era, although I'm not sure. This could be from the Meiji era though. Looks like a bird cage, right? And makes this beautiful subtle sound of a bell. And I found this similar one later. And look what's inside the cage. Maybe one day soon. A bird inside. And it's spin like this. I wonder if there's any cloth terrier today that can make something like this. I wish, but I would imagine the demand is very limited, so maybe only me, right? 
Hopefully one day, I would eventually meet someone very skilled craft artisan who can do this. This one's from the Taisho era, coming in the original box, made in the traditional folded fabric craftwork. This one's made with the same fabric craftwork and the braid details. These one made with the chunky yarn, very popular in the Taisho era. This is the accessory you would wear over the elastic. You can wear it like this. This hairpin is so big and gorgeous, made in total shell. And I have saved something a bit crazy for the last. <laughs> Rice is, and a messenger bird. Yes, it's real. They came in a set. This is a very festive one, so why don't you wear this for New Year's Day? Generally though, I think this goes better with very big up too. Yeah, isn't it? Oh, there's another one that I really wanted to show you. My most favorite one that I purchased in the past year. You see the bow and aloe motif here. It's the total shell around here with the metal carving details. This would look amazing on the Japanese updo with the volume here and the bun in the back. You would put this in the between right here. Hope you found my collection interesting. I actually have a lot more. These were just a selected few. I picked the particularly unique ones. On I don't even know. There's no loose in wearing these hairpins. Rather, it's about balance against the hairstyle that you are wearing. You can basically just style whatever you want. For the styling tips, I would recommend checking out the hairdos of actress from the Showa era. I copied Kaoru Yachigusa today, but another one of my favorite is Ayako Wakao. Just check out the lots of their old photos and try to imagine what kind of style would look great on you. It's fun. Thank you for watching. Your likes and comments always make me very happy and motivated. See you very soon back on this channel.